you know black folks, basically make sure you go watch this video, you will shit your pants. Okay? It's one of my new ones just before this one. I kinda didn't want to make this one, but I have to show you some lightning in a volcano. You gotta go see the meatball right here in this video here right here, folks. You gotta go see it. Go look it on the tube or go to my main my homepage. Go to my homepage and watch this video right here, folks. You will crap your pants. So basically seven for you know, oil bait, whatever you want to call it. Beer and seven. Uh, we got lightning here in this one here, and I'll hit play, and you're going to see it right here. There's going to be lightning. There it is right there. Can't miss it. One more time, or, or probably a couple more times, you're going to see lightning right there. Bam, lightning. That's lightning, folks. It's not lava. Okay. Get this coming back around here again, and you'll see it. Just keep playing it for you, and you'll keep seeing it. It's lightning. It's not lava. And I'll take you to some pictures that I popped off of it, off of what Dutch got it from. Well, either that or he went to the original site now, and straight up you see that lightning right there. There'll be lightning right there. Bam, there it is. I just pulled it as I pulled my deal. I did good timing on it. You see that lightning right there. And lightning. Pretty much we don't see any more lightning yet. And basically I think I can pull out the 200. Like I say, I got a Dutch played this video, and we got that lightning there that popped out. Uh, you'd have to watch earlier, go to the webcam and, and watch for the footage earlier on it. And see if there's anything bright out here way before, like we've been seeing as the terahydrons, tetrahydrons or not. So just keep watching that volcano. You, well, you can see that right there. Check that out up there in the sky. Okay, you can see that. So watch that right there. Okay, you got that. And we have lightning down there. So whether it's static and dry from the, from the atomic action, that's very high up in in our stratosphere or outer space. So. Check that out again right there. Get on that there. So right there, you see that pop in again. So it does flicker when we get the lightning. If you watch the lightning bolt, bam, lightning bolt. And so keep watching and it does all kinds of action up there. So keep an eye out for lights on these videos. Dutch has a lot of these. Dutch, all these videos are good. And what's very important to watch now, as I'm watching this, is this thing blinks and then bam. Okay, so that star off way out in space. Either that, or like I've tried to say that the idea that it, just putting it out there, it's theory. But are we practicing with the satellite and seeing what we can do? Since we know we got an active volcano, that we got something we can just blow the shit out of. Or it's just light propagation from space. Okay? Because you'll see it there blinking and then kabam on. Shazam on. Okay, I got some super giant action down there that popped up. I'm not going to edit that out. And I'm going to go show you some super giant star cluster action. So it's very important to watch that right there. Because no matter what, Watch it in this lapse over here. Kabamo, it causes it. Okay, and they have messed with you. Have seen them messing with these videos, so you can see the lightning there. I'm not going to fool you with you on that. This is recently caught, so they didn't superimpose that. Now it could, they could fake bake electrical in there, but this is too realistic. That's bam, that's lightning under there. Okay, now we've seen blue before. I think that's real. These webcams shouldn't be messed with, but we have seen people mess with Dutch's video and the other video. Okay, why? Basically, stupid ass signs that we've seen people put in. Okay, so that power of uh, super giant suns or something, star action from outer space, or they're playing with a laser in outer space. But that's that's star action, super giant's action or something. It's too damn big to be that big old flash. That's too damn big to be a satellite. Too damn big. 
So it's very interesting to try to zoom and crop in on that object. Okay, as you can see, it flashed in there, and then Shazam! Okay, so speaking of Shazam, let's Shazam down here to some super giant action. Now this is way in the back. Okay, and then I'll pop you to another slide that I got. I went in and dug out some of my old super giant action. Now it's sun's about right here, somewhere and down in here in it. Uh, I think I'm not just going to repeat. There's the sun, where the sun's at. And let me go ahead and stop and queue up another one. And these super giant suns move around, and it's uh, anybody can remember. I even have to go back and make some new videos lately. I got to remember the one I made. Now the most important, I got super giants panties off the super giants and panties off super giants number two. You can check those videos out. They have a lot of info on there on that. 100 brightest super giant stars, folks. Okay. There's more than a hundred. There's actually more than a hundred, but there is a hundred that are four to seventy-eight times the size of the sun in the super giants. There's more in the super giants. It's the big old gold wing. It looks like a sea ray moves in. There's a bunch of them that come out here and move along in this here belt here in the sun, as I showed you previously in there. And the sun is something like uh, just something very much smaller than even these little dots here. So Pataglius and, and Paris are probably in all the combination of all these hundred suns. That are, there's way more than a hundred, but there's a hundred that are four to seventy-eight times the size of the sun in the super si giant's main sequence. And as you've seen, the sun is in the super giant's main sequence, and it's farther in this sequence now than what that picture I showed you. Okay, and we're getting all this action at Earth probably from all the light propagation from all the super giants. Let me take you to the re recent high shot that I can show you. This is just a taste of the super giants right there, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? All this here is just a starting fringe of it. The sun is something maybe, I'm not sure, you have to look it up two, three, four times the size of Jupiter, or who knows how many times the size of Jupiter. Jupiter's right there. That is Jupiter. Okay? Uh, we've got Venus or the end of Lovejoy going out on this tail on this shot here. And basically, it'll be the same shot when I go to this one. And this was taken yesterday, two days ago now. It's the sixth night, probably, but that is our live time everything down here. The super giants are humongous. We're going to keep getting this light propagation from outer space. Okay? Uh, the sun could possibly be something like maybe this big. But as you see, we have all this. And yes, the sun's flaring, but it's in the super giants getting its ass kicked. And the sun may even actually. You have record of these shots, okay? You might actually be able to compare how big the sun actually is by looking up and seeing it. Oh, I got time. I got eight minutes. I'm going to look and see how, what the comparison of the size of this Jupiter is to the sun. And then you're going to know that the supergiants and this stuff does exist. Because it's, it's also in this shot here, okay? Way back, okay? And also, as you see, you're getting the light propagation that way and this way. The sun's and the supergiants getting its ass kicked or kicking the ass of all those little planets, which aren't little. They're huge. They're way bigger than Jupiter in the super giant's main sequence. And also we caught this big planet here on the line of the magneticism and all these all these big planets here also. And we'll find Earth here in a second because I have a guide to looking at it. And basically Earth is going to be like up here. Okay. And this is Jupiter here. I mean Venus. Sorry. Ven this is Venus right there. That is Venus. Okay. They're keeping an eye on Venus because it's doing all kinds of action. So that is Venus in there in that little spot. Earth is up here in this projection, more than likely that little dark sided object there, because the supergiant sun is over on this side, because that dark little patch is on that side. Okay? Earth is in this bunch here they picked out. It would be the dark side there, and the bright side would be over this side, the sun would be over here somewhere, okay? And Mars is projected there. Okay, and Mars is also projected there in that shot, okay? There's stuff they're not wanting us to see, i.e. they're not showing you that side of reflection cut, okay? Or they just flip this one shot. Okay, but Mars is in this shot, and these are two different separate shots, so they didn't really flip this and do that, or they enlarged it, okay? And when they enlarged it, then they popped Mars out, and it's over here, okay? So this is enlarged over here. Could be the same shot enlarged like crazy, okay? But no matter what, Venus is in there, in there, and I showed you the, the shot. And you can roll this up like a piece of paper, folks, and basically this here with Jupiter, this is Jupiter, it would come back around like this and match up over to here to this string right here. And you can even see these dots will match up. That you could roll this up like a piece of paper and look inside it. And there's this two nights ago from Herbal. Humongous.
basically more than likely the meatball also in the dark. Okay, you can see the line. You can see there's a circular. Okay, and it's more than one circular. It's like circular, circular. And you can see the circular grid here too in this shot. And you can also see the circular in this shot. Okay, so you watched that video before that I showed you, and then you can propagate this because we know that this is north. We know this is. Uh, let me see. Make sure that I always wonder if I'm getting that wrong or right. I think I have a shot here which shows you that the idea that that is clockwise is supposed to be to the east. I'm just trying to find the notation of that, and I don't have it. Okay, east is counterclockwise. Okay, so. West is clockwise. So as we're looking at this, as these shots, and all this stuff is out there, folks. All this stuff is out there. Okay. And you've seen the video that we had coming up in Hawaii. So this is west. That's what came up. Okay. It even propagates and shows in night sky in New Mexico and the other names that are on these shots. Huntsville. Okay. So it's rising and setting, and it also looks like more than one object. Okay, way out the meatball is maybe more than one. Okay, way back dark, Jupiter the back door because this is nighttime. That's why I say you don't really see it because it's nighttime, and then you end up seeing it because we have Rigel Cantaris, which is more than likely uh, coming up. You got to check for the 1800 and something, the 1900 hour that it came up in Hawaii on the video just before this, the one I showed you to go watch. Okay, so all this stuff is out there. All these images are true. They rise and they set. And all these are actual things that are out there and getting resonated down here to Earth. Scaring the hell out of people. Okay? Now, more than likely, that should be the moon going down in the west. And as you see, it's getting a ton of light reflection from the supergiants in whatever planet would have been next to the, uh, I think it would have been Jupiter possibly or Venus. I think I showed last night that it was Jupiter. So all this stuff is up there and getting propagated. Reminds you of what we've seen in Hawaii, right? Pretty much exactly that. And that would be it, because that's how that laser node it starts up with this here in the west. Okay? And so you got to figure out on the past videos that we've seen, and then it's around 609, you can start seeing differentials in time about this stuff that's been showing up over time. I.e., this is the beginning of what we see in the west come up way before 6 UTC. And then you check the, whenever you're looking at Hawaii and the French Canadian thing, it is Hawaiian Standard Time. Okay, so all this stuff's out there. It's all real. It's all happening. And astrologers and young kids that are going to be astrologers and watch stars, they should be watching stuff like crazy because this stuff was all out there that night. And there's one ring and another ring. And there's the map. And for that night, that was like two nights ago. As you can see, uh, I'm pretty sure it was uh, the fourth this was taken because it was live view shots that I took down. Okay, so or actually that or the night of the third. So keep watching all my videos and all this stuff is real. More than 90 billion miles away, possibly this light is coming from possibly in less than 90 billion. Okay. Camo Pradarius is way, or wherever you want to say it, way the hell back. There was, that was earlier this year. And as you can see, you can see the axis tilt in also, too. More straight away, we moved a little bit more east on our tilt, on our axis tilt. So all this stuff's out there in real. Now, this wasn't recent, like I said, these were shots from a while back. Just like with my uh, Supergiant stuff, that stuff has moved around, too. I'll try to get updated on, on Rigel and all that stuff like that. Busy working, so trying to pump these videos out and show the truth and what's going on up there in space. Also a good shot here too is a very large dark material, which is humongous planets. And look up the size of Jupiter compared to the sun. And you can see that's the sun there flashing in steel and there's going to be some really big dark objects coming into view right here as this plays. And then all over the place too, but there's some big ass planets coming in here that are dark right there that keep popping into play here along this side.